Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday on the new month of December 3rd. How's everybody doing this wonderful Monday morning? The last month of the year. Good to see you, Michael. Ken, good to see you all. All right, all the new traders. First of all, guys, before we get started, uh, you know, obviously we all know what just happened this past weekend uh, regarding about the death of uh, President George Bush. And uh, just like to, uh, you know, Take a step back and stop a little bit here. And before we get move forward, a quick uh, moment of silence on, uh, regarding about uh, one of our greatest presidents that we had and uh, all he's done and respect him. So let's just uh, pause for a second. Thank you. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, with the death of uh, President Bush, um, for everybody, the market will be closed on Wednesday. So we got a little couple of changes here um, here at Cyber Trade University. First of all, uh, I know we have phase three, lesson three and four on Wednesday. It will be moved to Thursday. And with um, Traders Talk on Tuesday, that will also uh, be moved to Thursday. So markets closed on Thursday. We will be open. We're just not going to be trading. <laughs> and the uh, the cyber group room, obviously, is nothing going to be going on. I know we have a lot of new members that are joining us um, for the first week, and uh, we'll make it up to you following another day in the room. So don't worry about that. But, uh, you know, it's not every day when we have a president that passes uh, regarding about, uh, you know, anything that, you know, I'm Honestly, I can't remember the last time we mourned other than on maybe 9-11 uh, of, a, of a catastrophe. But, um, but you know, we do respect our presidents no matter what your political beliefs are. So let's, um, it will be remembered on Wednesday. So with that said, guys, uh, hopefully everyone had a good weekend and did all their homework because what's very important going into this time, um, this time of the year is that when you get into a new month, you all know in classes, you need to know, are you ready to go to the next level? Are you a, are you a level one trader? Are you level two? Um, you need to go over your journals. You need to review your monthly journals. See what, are you consistent? Are you meeting your goals? Um, did you send them in to your instructor here at Cyber Trading so we could review them and go over them with you and, and consult you and see where you're at? Remember, this is not... You know, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. All right. You, you know, you can't think like you know, I know we all want to do this, but you got to do it right. And, you know, I always look forward to the end of the month because it kind of gives takes me a little step back to review. Am I ready to take a step back? Did I get cocky? Did I get in trouble in certain positions? Remember, the biggest thing we teach here at Cyber Training University, it's not about just making money. It's about controlling losses. That is your biggest, biggest concern with anyone and that is where you learn the most you don't learn on the winners you learn on your losers okay you know and i always kind of you know joke around about this but listen i've been married for 23 years i love my wife um i got three wonderful boys but one thing um when when i got married the priest always told me he said i want you guys to understand something this is not about just about marriage this is two corporations um uh, merging together and some corporations uh, don't work out. And sometimes it's worse than ever before because, listen, marriage is great, but we all know a divorce is very, very expensive. <laughs> so uh, sometimes it's cheaper to keep them to get, and uh, it's cheaper to keep them than to get rid of them, they always say. So with that said, stocks, the same thing. You got to treat everything as a business decision when it comes to trading. You got to learn from your mistakes. You got to learn, and, and there's no better time to do it this weekend, especially how the month uh, uh, ended out which is always great. So with that, guys, I know we had a lot of positions. We all know what happened to G20. Uh, I mean, if you haven't got up uh, up to speed, which you should have, I'll need to reiterate it again. But, you know, we have some good news regarding what came out of the G20. They're going to put the tariffs on, on hold for about, was it uh, 30, for, for 90 days or something. And, uh, you know, I, I think things are going to work out. You know, I think things are going to work out. And you could see the market loves it more than anything. So, you know, listen, we got everything that's going well. We got a great economy. We got great unemployment here in the United States. Uh, and the only thing that people are getting a little scared is all these tariffs. So we'll see the market likes it. And uh, if, you were, if you did a nice swing trade, you did pretty well. I mean, I still own the uh, CSQ. 
So, you know, and that's not a solicitation. You know, we all know what that is. It's a mutual fund, pays, it pays a dividend. Um, I got out of a lot of it, but now my dividend, I get paid tomorrow, which is the fourth, actually. I might sell a lot of it and maybe stop stepping into some brand name stocks too uh, with the tariff. So we could see, we could see, you know, from what it looks like, as of right now, don't really know where these stocks are going until the market opens up because a lot of them gapped up so much. And you know what happens when things gap up pretty big. Usually they do back off because people want to take some quick profits. But we won't know where the direction's going till we get probably about 10, maybe 30 minutes into the open. But there are a couple of stocks that are moving that did make the watch list. We're going to go out there and share. First of all, we know what the biggest winner up 59% TSRO. Like, come on, seriously? No one knew that was a buyout? <laughs> the stock was $25. Look where it is. Uh, you can see that thing was up every day from 25 to 46 and now, boom, it's already at 73 Wow, I didn't know it was a $180 stock. Anyway, that's a buyout. How do we know it's a buyout? Well, it's what we learn in class. It's very easy to see, what to, uh, to see what's going on just so it's pre-market. By the way, I did get caught in a couple of pre uh, buyouts myself um, in, in, during pre-market. I'm like, damn, I'm in this stock, and it's going to cost me a ticket charge, you know? So, uh, you know, we, we we're probably all going to do it. It happens, but what is what it is. Hold on, let me fix my chart here. A one. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, a couple of other stocks are making some decent moves. CLVS out there is doing pretty well. That one gapped up really nicely. Seventeen dollars is up to twenty three. You got uh, you don't have too many crazy iceberg orders out there, but it's all right. One of them I kind of like this morning. I don't know how it's doing right now, but the OGEN. That one is a very inexpensive stock. It was up a lot. Uh, we traded it not too long ago. Went from a buck to about almost four dollars. So that one, I definitely want to see how that one opens up. As of right now, it's not doing anything great in pre-market. Remember, it is Monday. NBEV, we all know about that. Pot stocks, there we go. Uh, this one's moving uh, so far this morning. Did pretty well when those pot stocks took off. Here's another one making a little de decent move. Listen, all the Chinese stocks are moving too. You got IQ, you got Hoya, you got N N uh, NEO, uh, Boy, uh, you know, they're all, they're all going to be moving. Uh, NIO, you know, this one is kind of creeping up there little by little, too. We did pretty well on this IPO. All of them are IPO. So with everything with the China, uh, what's going on with the tariffs, they're all doing pretty decent. ATOS, another one I found earlier this morning. It's got some major resistance levels right here at buck sixty. Look at all the iceberg orders on the matrix right there. Tons and tons of resistance levels. Uh, which is great. You can see as a major one, big seller at a buck seventy-five. What he we didn't see him, huh? HDSN. This one's gapping up really nicely. This another one took a hit from ten dollars um, back at the uh, beginning of the year. This one's gapping up pretty nicely, up forty-six percent. Nice little spread. Very very nice tier sizes. Not crazy. Uh, what you gonna call it? There's some good nice orders out there in the matrix too on level three so that one looks pretty good like that one a lot and uh the last one is the hpha that one got crushed look at this thing getting decimated listen i always say you want to be a good swing trader you better damn well know how to day trade stock was 16 dollars, all the way down to seven waking up this morning down 25 back down to 590 looks like she's kind of holding pretty strong here which is interesting and not only that but if you go back and you look over here you do got some support levels right around this uh, $5 price range right here. And it probably would explain why you have those big orders sitting there waiting. But uh, let's see how she holds up. That one doesn't look too bad. All right, so we got our list. We checked it twice. You know, we know what's going on uh, as of this week. If you did log in late, market is closed on Wednesday. Uh, so there'll be no trading on Wednesday. We will be open here at Cybertrain University. So you'll still be around. Um, we, we know that we have phase three, lesson three and four on, on Wednesday. It will be moved to Thursday. And Traders Talk will be moved from Tuesday to Thursday. All right, guys. Anything I'm missing I did not call out? I didn't see us doing that much in pre-market this morning. Um, I didn't do that much also because, listen, everything was gapped up so much. And it's, it's Monday. It's, you know, this is Monday. And not only that, you know, you know, um, 
It's uh, Hanukkah begins on sundown, so it's Hanukkah today. That's another, another major, I don't know if you guys know this, but the big Jewish holiday, so another major um, uh, thing that could affect the market a little bit on the quiet side. All right, guys? All right, everyone, so good luck. Happy trading. See you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. If you are a new to cyber training and started your class today, please make sure you talk to Education Advisor and just look, listen, and learn, and you will learn. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today.